There are a lot of ways to export maps from QGIS, and I'm going to show you the easiest way to do it. When you are done making your map in QGIS, zoom to what you would like to export. I'm going to zoom in here, well, maybe back out a little bit, because I know that we don't have tree data for a lot of these neighborhoods out here. So I'm going to keep us focused on the area that we can see. In order to export from here an image, I'm going to go to Project, Import, Export, and I'm going to either Export Map to Image or Export Map to PDF. In this case, I really like PDFs because maybe I can open it up in Illustrator later. So Export Map to PDF. I'm going to agree with everything it says here, and then I'm going to say Save. It's going to say, where do you want this? And I'm going to say, in my Grease video folder. I'm going to call this Output. Click Save. It will work a little bit, and then it says, successfully saved. If I look in my folder, I have all my shape files, and then I also have Output.pdf. I give it a double click, and there we go. It's the same map that I saw on my screen in QGIS, but now it's a PDF. Additionally, if I wanted to analyze or make a chart about all of these counts of information here, the number of trees in this neighborhood, the number of trees in this neighborhood, I could actually save that to a file I can open up in Excel. The way I would do that is by clicking the count layer right click, export, save features as. So every single one of my neighborhoods is called a feature if we're going to be technical. I want to save this as a CSV file. So you're going to click under format, CSV file, or even SLSX. I'm going to say CSV file. What's my file name? I need to click Browse on the right-hand side. And then I'm going to say, save it here. And I'm going to call it treecount.csv. I just agree with all of this. It's going to save all of my different fields here. And I'm going to say, OK. It successfully saved it treecount.csv right here. I will double click. It will slowly, slowly, slowly open up in Excel. And there we go. We now have each one of these different layers has a num points over here. Again, because my computer is set up for English, name here is going to look bad. If we open this in something like Google Sheets, on the other hand, or maybe even on your computer, this Greek, Greek would probably look good. Now that we have this data saved as an external file, we can put it into, we can make charts in Excel, we can make charts using online chart builders, anything like that. The world is our oyster. So we have successfully made several different maps here. Um, a nice map of where trees are in Athens, a version where we colored each of the trees based on a category. We did a little bit of geographic analysis to count the number of trees in each neighborhood. And then we made a choropleth, which is a map where it is colored based on some sort of value inside. Finally, we exported those counts and then we opened it up in Excel in order to have a file that we can make something that's not a map in. And the way that we did that was by using open data from the Greek portals. So we didn't use geodata.gov.gr, but we used data from data.gov.gr using shape files. And we couldn't have done this without the wonderful, wonderful software QGIS, which is very, very good and also very, very free. Thanks a lot.